The board says the vetting of judges and magistrates is meant to restore credibility to the local judiciary after years of mistrust. The process will kick off in January 2012 with the vetting of three Supreme Court judges. The three Supreme Court judges will have to be vetted afresh in accordance with Section 23 of the Sixth Schedule in the new Constitution, which requires the vetting of all judges and magistrates who were in office before the promulgation of the Constitution, despite having already been vetted by the Judicial Service Commission. Uh, we have to keep in mind that we have a process which we have to complete within a particular time limit. And we are not going to give, I'm afraid, the kind of latitude that they may have had before those particular tribunals. The board says it has already started receiving comments from the public, touching on the three judges after extending the deadline for any complaints which was to lapse on Monday the 19th of December. The deadline for comments against magistrates is the 30th of January next year. The vetting board has however cautioned Kenyans that it will not create a public spectacle like the one witnessed during the exercise conducted by the Justice Ringera led Commission in 2003. That is not to say that they will not have a fair hearing, they will have a fair hearing, but within reasonable bounds of fair hearing. We do, not want a, what we do not want a judge or a lawyer to take advantage of the process and keep us here for three months on a particular case. That we will not allow. The board has already vetted three Supreme Court judges, while Chief Justice William Mutunga and his deputy Nancy Baraza were vetted by the Judicial Service Commission. Once the three Supreme Court judges are vetted, the board intends to announce the vetting dates for High Court judges and magistrates. The board says the vetting will be done in private unless a particular judge requests to be vetted in public. Henry Kedaiga, Citizen Weekend.